right, so we're on Gemini. We're doing pop-up readings. You and your person of interest, maybe, or who's coming towards you. Let's see what pops up. Overall energy, moon energy. Be humble. Okay, so there could have been somebody that you had. Um, this could be your own mind, the twins. Uh, butting heads here. Okay. Um, but if you felt like... For some of you, it's like a blow to the ego for someone. Okay, now the other one is, if you feel like you might have been a little bit overbearing or egotistical, even macho, right? Maybe uh, the suggestion here is to tone it down and bring in that feminine divine energy because that did come up in the Aries reading. All right, now let's see what else is this. Uh, full moon, oh my god, full moon in Aries, that's what I just picked up, okay, all right, cool your emotions, okay, so that's the hint here, cool your emotions, this one's wanting to come out, full moon in Cancer, let your fears dissolve, okay, so for someone this is, you feel like you're not going to reach your goal, okay, so if that's the case you got to tune out the outside world okay and do what your heart is calling you to do you know in your soul the possibilities are infinite okay so that's what i'm getting so you could have been in your feelings and your emotions about work-related situations and um okay if you feel like things haven't been fair, just remember, keep your heart open. Now, there could be, um, and I feel like if you keep balancing your twins and your mind, I feel like, and let your heart lead, I feel like you will have great success here. Be proud of your accomplishments. Give yourself a pat on the back. Be your own cheerleader. Now, there is this energy here that may be a family or friend or a lover that's a Taurus. And they're proud of you, even all through all you've been through. But what is what? But what? So, whatever came out in the wash, you may want to try and heal and mend this connection because it's very important. Okay, so, could be talking about, oh, this is your polar opposite energy, Sagittarius. Okay, so you could have felt like a yo-yo a little bit in your emotions, and it could have been like uh, destiny just going its, or fate going its course, and, um, and you maybe felt like you lost control here. Okay, so speak your world into being. This is feeling balanced now. Here, see? Polar opposites. Feeling balanced and poised. The twins and your mind are aligned. And you're sending out into the ethers. Uh, and you're fishing for your desires, your goals, to appear in this physical reality. Fire energy, right? Okay, so diligently keep working towards that. No matter what the world is presenting to you. Step into your power. Clear your mind. Oh my God, how do these cards do that? Okay, clear your mind. Uh, attune to the divine. So that's your feminine, masculine, divine energy. But this is also Pisces. So you could have been in your feelings. Okay, so it's like there was a reading here uh, in Pisces reading. It was like having that catharsis. So that might be crying it all out, it might be writing it all out, it might be through conversations, group meetings, whatever. All right, so having a catharsis will help you to lighten up. Oh, I see also, there's another thing. Okay, so if, for instance, that resonates with you, they're suggesting here fire energy, actually getting out, working out, going for walks, Doing physical things, right, energetically can help you uh, lift that feeling. Okay, so that's the suggestion. So, I feel like 
uh, even simple walks in the morning first alone and then asking your partner to go for walks with you might be something that could uh, open up your partner okay that's what I'm getting and when you go for walks you don't have to say anything you could just feel each other's energy while you're walking right and uh, maybe even just holding hands I'm getting something like that go with the flow embrace the flow whatever the world is throwing to you just roll with it okay it doesn't mean uh, you can still have all your dreams and desires here uh, be humble and take a reality check. Assess uh, truthfully what your situation is in the physical. And from that viewpoint, you can heal it and move in a new direction. You are loved. Uh, for some of you, it was like that Pluto shift. I don't know what that was, but it, that affected you. You must have some other things in your chart. Okay, now, let's see. Yeah, for some of you, the battle's in your mind. So if you can free your mind, you can change your world. Work through those emotions. Oh, what is this doing us? This is from a different deck. Hermit. Even take time alone for yourself can improve things. Honor your feelings as they rise. Pay attention to the details, right? I feel like that could be the thing that puts you um, back in the winning direction. Okay, forgive others and forgive yourself most of all. And then you shall rise and shine. Take a breather when you need it. Okay, trust the universe. Oh, you got two Aquarius cards. Trust the universe and open to change. I feel like Aquarius energy can be significant here. That's what I'm getting. So it could be Aquarius person, two Aquarians you could have been focused on. But I feel like this is like uh, almost an obsession. Okay, so it doesn't have to be an obsession. It could be... Uh, a determination in your dreams and goals and now to the future okay let the change in yeah you could have had some challenging mountains to climb here believe in your uh, power your luck okay and relax I feel like it's saying relax and feel your way through it. Okay. And then uh, once it's showtime, I don't know what that means, but once it's showtime, it's showtime. Give them your full spectrum of uh, your rays of light. Woo! I like that. Give them the full spectrum of your rays of light. Okay like that find a balance I keep saying balance okay steady steady oh okay it's yeah oh, I like this okay so they were showing me a yo-yo right and then um, okay so then they were showing me uh, so you could have felt like things are up and down up and down up and down but there is steady in this this child okay this child is showing me um 
it's like uh, he's doing uh, up and down, but now he's doing the walk the dog. And the walk the dog is walking. Uh, it's like out. It's looking like it's out to the future and, and walking. And even he can uh, manage and, and uh, when he's walking the dog, where he's walking the dog. Okay. So, okay. So what I'm saying here is if there was some tough dog star energy, I feel like you're going to get a handle on it. Now, the pauses in the walking the dog symbolizes to me what I get from it is um, you will be able to move the momentum when it feels good to you it'll move faster okay Ooh, I like that oh that's nice okay so keep your priorities in check um, if there's gossip let go of that we can't control what other people say or do, but you can control how you're going to move in your goals, dreams, and aspirations. Okay, so this is actual physical detoxification, okay, and that could change your DNA um, uh, composition here. That's what I'm getting. And if you can move that physical body... Uh, into a lighter, more uh, um, brighter energy than this Uranus energy, um, you'll get, um, oh, look at this ant here, little worker ant. I feel like that symbolizes you. He's trying to find his way, but following with his feelers, his sensory perception oh wow that's how you felt I guess okay what is that eight of swords like you were stuck okay but we're in we're moving the energy's moving so see that's the thing Oh, this could be a Taurus, too. If you feel like things went on a pause, um, it, it's going to change. And you have the power to move that, they said. Okay. And uh, here's this Aquarius energy, so... I feel like if you keep focusing on now to the future, that it brings in your success. This is like full illumination on the shadow. And um, give your, this is what is, I'm picking up. Give yourself an honest assessment of the things that unfolded. And move from there. Okay. Let's see what this comes. Oh, this is what you're working towards. I am building a strong foundation for a loving partnership. What qualities and values do you want to prioritize in, in a future relationship? How can you align your actions with these priorities? I feel like they're saying if you have a career that's very important, remember to... Uh, keep love at the top of your priority here. I am patient and understanding. How will you work to uh, nurture patience with a partnership and understanding during disagreements? I am committed to my well-being journey, knowing it prepares me for a loving and enriching partnership. How do your curtain current health and fitness levels oh my god align with your desire for a loving and fulfilling relationship? Okay. All right, so let's take one more from the top. Let's see what it says. Can you read that? Okay. All right, let's take one from the top. I prioritize my health as an act of self-love, knowing healthy mind and body 
uh, knowing a healthy mind and body lead to a vibrant relationship. Okay, so ask yourself honestly, do I feel good, right? Are there any aspects of, okay, uh, are there any parts of my body that are trying to speak to me? Okay, and then if the answer is yes, it might be time to do something, but focus on the whole body, not the thing, right, that could be ailing you. All right, so that's also a message. Look into the solution and get off of the problem. Okay. Are there any aspects of your well-being that you would like to improve for yourself and your future partner? So see, that's what I was getting. Like holding hands and doing some sort of routine together was going to improve the connection. Even if it's like um, doing some morning stretches, right? Um, setting up a little, I'm um, getting a putt-putt golf and doing that together. Okay. And if you haven't been practicing that kind of thing, your partner might think you're out of your mind, but sh just ask them to be patient with you and, and, and ask them to have a little fun with you. Okay. My partner and I will serve as mirrors for others, uh, shadow self. How can you prepare yourself to be a place of safety and empathy for your future partner? Okay, so a future partner could be the one you're already with. The improved version of that could be a new person. But are you willing to confront your own inner demons when it comes to relationships, right? So that's for someone who's maybe went outside the agreement of a connection. I'm ready to work through the challenges of a loving relationship. How do you envision navigating challenges in your relationship, whether it's work, love, or finances, right? How can you maintain a positive outlook during tough times? Okay, and I feel like that will really ring with someone. All right, so let's get a heart. Ooh, taking off the mask. Oh, I'm getting, you know what I'm getting is a camera and a camera case. And a camera came out in another reading. What reading was that? Okay. Anyway, I'm getting this as a Polaroid camera that even I just bought. And there's a case and there's the eye here and you can still take the picture with the case on it. So a layer of protection. So I feel like the message is... If you feel vulnerable, say a prayer of protection and then go for it. That's what I'm, oh my lord, all the cards fell. Okay, all right, now, that's what I'm getting with that. Okay, now what is this? Oh, you may feel like falling down, but spirit is propping you up to keep going. Oh my gosh. Okay, and for someone... Uh, your Taurus has beautiful lips and you love kissing your Taurian. Okay. That might be too TMI. <laughs> okay. I am brave enough to cling, climb. Oh, any mountains. Right. Let's not cling on the mountain. Let's jump. Okay. Uh, I am brave enough to cling any mountain. I keep saying that. Climb any mountain. So it's like. Let go of whatever you're holding on to and freely move into the now to the future. Oh, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that. What is that? I can climb any mountain. Oh, that's a sound of music. Oh, oh, that's a sound of music. Is that when... Is that when that nun um, does something to the car and then says a prayer or something? A spark plug. The spark plug. Oh, I'm going to have to go see if I can find it and watch it. Okay. But that's what I'm getting 
It's like the great escape here. What is that, Austria? Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be Austria. If you've had problems with your partner, show interest in your partner and their family. So let's say they live far away somewhere over in Austria or beyond, okay? Make plans and maybe even surprise your partner to go visit family, something like that. And I feel like the moment is now because some things are coming up in your schedule and I feel like you won't have time to do it later. Um, well, there could be a window that opens up around Christmas, but I feel like they're suggesting it now. The moment is now, something like that. Okay, uh, and if you can't make the trip, what I'm getting is at least send a card, show some interest, do something. I feel like that would make all the difference here. Okay, and you're getting, pay attention to the details, and you could have felt like um, this is, I'm getting infinity symbol here. Could have felt like your, um, soulmate and your partner unraveled a little bit. But it's like, uh, what is that? Okay, you know how when people use a hanger to go in a certain direction? Okay, um, that's what they're showing me. And it's like, that could, um, it's like your natural instinct can lead you in that direction without any kind of liar or anything like that okay so pay attention to the details that could even bring solutions here okay and i feel like some of you i'm getting hourglass i feel like you, you might have feel like you're running out of time but there's plenty of time that's just hormones moving okay my body mind and soul are at peace Okay, my body and mind and soul are at peace. All right, what's this? Smiling often can make me look and feel younger. Okay, I feel like smiling is your fountain of youth. Woo, I like that. Smiling is your fountain of youth. Okay, so if you have a son, spend time with him, and I feel like if they have, if they're interested in gamer or games or sports, uh, showing some interest in that could open up some doors. Okay. And what is this toupee? What is that? I feel like you're holding on. That's what they're giving me. You're holding on. Just keep keep that chin up. Keep that chin up and keep smiling. Smiling is your superpower. I'll leave you with that. <laughs>